So this is a land otter. It is a mustelid like a sea otter. Um, and it has more plentiful, longer guard hair. It has its underfur is kind of reddish brownish. And when I use land otter, and also land otters are not protected under uh, the Marine Mammal Protection Act because they're considered a land mammal, uh, which reside mainly in freshwater. So they're not protected under the Marine Mammal Protection Act, which means anyone can harvest land otter. And I usually use land otter plucked and sheared, which means guard hair is hand plucked, under for a sheared to a usable length. And I, I actually got my first land otter, well, I didn't get it, I bought it. But I would first work with land otter this year um, to double trim my new parking rut, and then I'm also going to use land otter for the cups on my Sounders theme parky as well as the liners for my new mitts that I'm getting made. Um, the land otter tends to be more durable than beaver. Uh, and if you're a Gussa, like myself, and uh, that's one of the few resources you have, then you use the resource, you know what I mean? And it doesn't make it, it the plucking and sharing land otter does not make a difference because the garter only grows to 1.9 inches. See, these land otters are active, they like to swim around. So yeah. And they're also known as river otters, but where I'm from they call them land otters because you also have sea otters. And if you're a gusset like me, you cannot catch, you can only catch the land otter because they're not protected under the Marine Mammal Protection Act. Um, so yeah. And yeah, even when you use land otter here, it's still durable. So that's what I use for midliners. So there you go. But yeah, no. So these are land otters. See, we'll see if the land otter makes another pass this way. I don't know. There's still a couple different land otters here. But there you go.